In this video, we are going to look at continuity. And so I want to first show you some examples of and different types of discontinuity. And in this first picture, what you'll notice is that if I am looking at the limit as x approaches this value of a, as I come from the left side and as I come from the right side, the limit is the same, and they're just calling it limit l. But on the other hand, if you look at the function f evaluated at a, you'll notice this point is up here. So what we say is that means that this particular graph is not continuous, or in other words, it has a discontinuity. And so the type of discontinuity that we say that it has is going to be a removable discontinuity. So basically, if you see something that looks like a hole in a graph, whether the value exists for the point like it does here, or even in the second case where f of a does not exist, if there is a hole in the graph, we call it a removable discontinuity. Okay, so down here, what you'll notice is as I look at the limit from the left, it does not equal the limit from the right. And so what we call this is a jump discontinuity. So in other words, if you think about it, if this were a road you were traveling on, if you have to jump up like that, then we refer to that as a jump discontinuity. And then finally, if you'll notice here, this particular graph or function is discontinuous at A because the pieces of the graph are both following that vertical asymptote. So as I look at the limit from the left, I'm going to positive infinity. And as I look at the limit from the right, I'm also going to positive infinity. So we're saying that this is what we call an infinite discontinuity or otherwise what they're going to refer to as a non-removable discontinuity. Okay, so let's look at this particular example. So the first question asks me to evaluate the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left-hand side. So notice the negative there. So as I'm coming from the left-hand side, as I'm approaching negative 2, I clearly see that my y value is at 2. So this limit, I would say, is 2. The second question asks me to evaluate the limit as, as x approaches negative 2 from the right-hand side. So as I'm coming from the right-hand side approaching my x value of negative 2, notice again that my y value is also at 2. So that limit is 2. The third question asks me to evaluate the function at negative 2 itself. And I notice that there's a point on the graph with a y value of 5, so I would say that the value of that function is 5. Now, since the limit does not equal the value of the function, when they ask me, is it continuous, that would be a no. And in this particular case, when they ask me what type, because it's a hole in the graph, it would be a removable discontinuity. And I know they didn't ask that on this particular question, but on others they might. So that would be a removable discontinuity because it is a hole in the graph. All right, finally, in this particular question, they first asked me at what value is the function discontinuous. And so the way we're going to find that is by setting the bottom of the fraction equal to zero. So that is where we get undefined values for our domain, but it's also where we get discontinuities. So in this particular case, the value where I'm discontinuous is going to be 9. Now, because they ask, they want to know what type of discontinuity it is, I'm either going to have to look at a graph or make a table. So you'll see I just chose to make a table. And so in order to look from the right-hand side, I plugged in an x value of 9.1, which is on the right. And you'll notice my y value was way down there at negative 404. So we'll just pretend like here's 9. And when I plugged in 9.1, I had a y value that was way down there. So we know it's just going way down there like that. And then I plugged in from the left-hand side, I plugged in 8.9. And so you'll notice when I did that on my calculator, 
my y value was at 396. So what's happening there is that part of the graph is going way up here. So we have what is a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 9. And so as we go back over here and look, this is a case where we call it an infinite discontinuity, and it's also referred to as a non-removable discontinuity. So this one would be a non-removable discontinuity.